Hey everybody, Sam here. And Elijah, welcome to our homestead. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different, but honestly, it's just another way of sharing our life with you guys, a little dose of reality, and just the kind of things we get into. So Elijah, what are we doing today? Putting on a hitch for the van. That's right, we're gonna be installing a hitch on, I won't even say mommy's minivan, cause I love it just as much. So a hitch on the family truckster, let's go. What's that for? The lights. Hey, you knew that right off hand. Awesome. I didn't even tell you. <laughs> so what we have in store for today is installing a trailer hitch onto our 2010 Toyota Sienna minivan. Now, right off the bat, I want to give you, okay, Sam's opinion about hitches on minivans. For the general part, don't do it. <laughs> and then don't listen to me because I'm about to do it. So here's my take on putting hitches on vehicles such as a minivan. They really aren't designed to have them on there. And if you're not careful, you can destroy your vehicle, especially the transmission, if you try and tow hardly anything worth of big weight that the vehicle itself is not able to do. So that being said, I'm going to do exactly what I probably just told you not to do and actually put a hitch on our minivan. Our reason we bought a hitch for this van and our purposes and intended uses is just to be able to haul lighter weight but bulkier items from where we live now to our Tennessee property as we build that new homestead. There is no doubt this minivan is the road trip vehicle of choice. Between this or our Jeep Grand Cherokee, this is a luxury wagon. It's got plenty of room, amenities, it's got a TV in there for the kids, it is super spacious, and it is really, really good on fuel mileage. However, we do need to be able to haul over some larger items from this homestead to our next. Not necessarily heavy things, but things that really won't fit inside and Angela doesn't like the idea of me tying on top of the roof. It's okay, she's smarter than me. So that led us to get a hitch. We purchased this hitch from a website called eTrailer. This is not a sponsored video at all, but eTrailer has been a company I've used several times throughout the years of my vehicle lifetimes and the hitches I put on stuff, and they have always been great. Their prices are wonderful, their service is great, and they have a ton of how-to videos and instructions out there for free that's just really helpful. In the event you also have a Sienna 2010 vintage and you're looking for a hitch, I'll put a link to this one down below and you can check it out. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy a little bit of father-son time as I get Elijah to help me. We'll install this thing under the van, we'll get some mutual wrench time in, and he can learn a little bit more about vehicles. Let's go. use our tool set here and one of the bolts included with the kit to find out what size socket we need. Let's try a three-quarter. Yeah, okay, wow. That rarely happens, but three-quarter inch is the size of these bolts. Let me double check the metric equivalent, which I think is 19 millimeter. That also fits, so I'll take both in case I need both. This vehicle hitch should just bolt right into place with six bolts included. We're lucking out, not all vehicles are like that, but we'll take what we can get in this case. So what I'm going to do is give you a ratchet 
and mm -hmm. I have a ratchet. And that way the both of us can be down there, kind of help hold things in some place and go ahead and start bolting this up to the, I mean, it's not really a frame. This is a unibody construction, although that's kind of probably too much information, but whatever, to the frame of the minivan. Oh, I see where it Here you fits. go, I'll let you be the bolt man. Okay. Just kind of lay them down there somewhere. Right there should be fine. All right, let's get down on the ground. So the van hitch hooks up right here because there's bolts that match this to fit right up here. There's There should be the same bolts over there. I'm gonna go ahead and hand thread some of these bolts up here first to make sure there's no obstructions and that we are picking the right holes. There we go, exhaust pipe is loose. Now we can move it out of the way as needed. All right, we've reached the point where we're gonna try and hold this hitch up and bolt it in place. Wish us luck. Hopefully this won't be too bad. So, you don't have to worry about trying to bolt yours in place. I'm just gonna need your help holding it. When I get this one started, I'll slide down and do your end. Okay. I just wanna make sure you have a bolt ready. Okay. All right, okay. so go ahead and pull it forward. You're going to have to try and pick up on it. I don't know if you need to lay down, if you can push up better or hold it. I don't know. I'll try and roughly hold it in place. All right, move yours towards the front of the van a little bit. I'm going to help hold it with my knee here. Okay. All right, are you okay? Yeah. All right, you're good? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get this bolt in then. I had to call in the Calvary. Sometimes it takes a man to admit when you need help. Sometimes that man is nine years old <laughs> and goes and gets mommy out of the soap shed to help hold. I'm eating dirt while I'm talking. I got one bolt in on this side and Angel's holding that in. So as soon as I get one other one started, I'm gonna switch over there. You okay down there, hun? Forty minute install, my patootie. Sure. <laughs> Two down, one more to go. I am leaving these bolts loose so we have a lot of wiggle room, but putting them in while I'm here at the same time. I had to take a break, get out of my workshop, get a pry bar, and then also a big screwdriver because this frame seems like it's too narrow to fit with the bolt holes. So I'm gonna have to try and pry against the bottom, I think where the wheel well or rear trunk well of the van is, pry it enough to get the move over for me to fit the bolts in place. So I don't know how long it's taken so far. I feel like it's been an hour and I have four out of six bolts done. So, all right, that's all I got for now. See you guys whenever I'm done or I give up or something else happens.
Wow, that took a while. Uh, 40 minute install, mm -mm. not in the real world, not out here in the gravel driveway, dealing with, I don't know, the van, me, by myself, a little bit of help here and there. No, huge help from Elijah and Angela, but still. Nah, this ain't a 40 minute install, guys. Not if your hitch or van is a little bit wonky like ours was. Ours was. Honestly, if you're like me and you do stuff as a project, you know it's gonna take longer than you ever expect. You know it's gonna cost more money, take longer, you're not gonna have the stuff you need, and it's gonna cause multiple trips either to a store or to your workshop. So that's the way it goes. That being said, the hitch is now installed. All of those six notorious bolts are installed perfectly down tight, good and tight. You're supposed to torque them down to 97 foot pounds, I believe that's what it is. They are torqued to that, if not a little bit beyond, but not too bad. Still, the hitch is now done. We can move on to installing the wiring. I hope the wiring is easier to do, but we won't know until we start. With the interior of your vehicle thoroughly ripped apart, and hopefully you didn't break any of your plastic trim pieces in the process, you can now begin to wire up this. <laughs> this is the wire kit, and this particular model is plug and play, at least it's supposed to be. So the green wire, or the side that has the green in it, this is for your passenger side. And then the plugs with the yellow wire in it are for your driver's side. You wanna route these little plugs out from the inside to the out, they get plugged into the tail lights. And then you route the rest of these wires, hide them in place, and otherwise try and hide it all after hooking it up and making sure it's all good. So these harnesses just plug in line. You disconnect the factory, then this plugs into this one. And now this goes to your tail lights. Pretty cool little design. Perfect fit, no soldering, no crimping, no anything. Just plug and play. I'm gonna sit this just like that for now. There, just like that. I'm not gonna connect it up uh, as far as mounting this back in place because I wanna test all this and make sure it all works before we close it all up. Okay, here's another instance where you can choose your own adventure. You can choose to drill a hole through the bottom of your vehicle, route your trailer plug, this guy, <laughs> you can barely see it down here. You can route that down through the bottom of the vehicle and permanently like zip tie it and attach it to your hitch. Go for it. However, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it in the trunk space of our van. That way, when we need to use it to pull a trailer, we'll be able to pull the wire out, connect it, and then when we don't need it, we'll leave it back inside. That makes us not have to drill any holes in our van. We don't add any kind of rust spots or issues and just overall makes for an easier installation. So again, choose your own adventure, but my adventure is the easy way. Anybody else out there remember those books? So from here, the wire is gonna come from the bottom of this panel and I'll be able to lay it over. This may not seem like a whole lot of reach as far as the vehicle side, but our utility trailer has quite the long wire and it should reach this no problem. That way when we're not using it, plops in the trunk. Most of the time these seats are folded down and that'll be great. All right, I'm gonna have Elijah check the lights for me. That way we can lock down the tail lights and everything. 
Turn it in there and click it one time. Don't start it up. Good. All right, right turn signal. Click the, the key switch one more time. All right, right turn signal. Good. Left side. Good. Off. All right, press the brake. Brake pedal. Which one is it? Uh, the big one with your foot. The middle one? Yeah, the middle one. All right, off. Okay, rotate the dial to turn the headlights on. Okay, headlights off. Perfect. Awesome. I believe our work is done. We can close up the minivan and go ahead and take it down off the ramps. And hopefully this hitch doesn't scrape the ground. I'm really concerned about how low it is. And then uh, hook our trailer up and see if the lights work. Although now I realize and remember, I don't have a hitch for this. I was waiting for the hitch to be installed to figure out the height we need to match our trailer. So I guess I'll just wheel the trailer over here and we'll play around with some lights a little bit and we'll call it good enough, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's do brakes first. Good. Off. Right turn signal. Good. Left turn. Good. Headlights. Sweet. Brake lights. Press the brake pedal. Sweet. Get old Mr. Sun's out and he's given us plenty of lighting. <laughs> More than enough. Yep. So I wanted to drag you over. I've done battled the van and I won. Good. Thanks to help from you and Elijah and a pry bar and everything else. <laughs> Many <sighs> tools. Yeah. It is done. It is by no means a 40 minute install. So you know, don't don't be thinking it unless I'm just very slow. And if I am, don't answer that question. So, Well, it is nice to have a van that has towing capabilities now. We will not be using it hardcore no. to be pulling big things. No. But, I mean, hauling a little bit of trash with a trailer or something like that isn't going to be a big deal with it. Yeah. This is a cargo supplement system. Yes. CSS. <laughs> I'm trying to think if that makes sense or not. <laughs> We're it supplementing does. our cargo capabilities. Right. We do not want to put a dump tank in the back of our nice van. Nope. Nope. It's not the poo wagon. And, and we don't want to smell it the whole way either. <laughs> I mean, come on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not the poo wagon. <laughs> Time will tell whether or not we just installed ourselves a massive rear skid plate. Um, we're going to have to be very mindful that we realize we've got some low hanging hardware back there. I'm sure we will feel it. Probably, we'll Bye. probably hear it. <laughs> oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> as long as it's me that does it the most, it's fine, right? Every or couple out I'm there knows. Or if I'm by myself. <laughs> Just don't ever tell me if you do it. Okay. <laughs> and I won't tell you. It's a mutual pact of exclusive non-telling. Right. Wait, if we're both doing it, it's not exclusive. Anyway. 
All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I still got to go buy a hitch for this, but I mean, I'm not gonna drag you guys along for that. I'll just measure, find the one we need to raise it up to match our trailer, and we'll be good to rock and roll. Hopefully I get that done before our next trip to our Tennessee property, which today, two, two, got about two days, three days to get that done. So let's go shopping. <laughs> well guys, thanks for coming along as he worked and uh -huh. he did something. And you stepped in to save the day. I did. If you could smell me, I would be fragrant. I made soap today, so. Soap fragrant, I yes. have not been just sitting doing nothing, so. And if you could smell me, then you would not really smell soap. <laughs> so between the two of us, you have mediocre smells. I smell like honeysuckle and gardenia today. I smell like grease, sweat, and a little bit of frustration. <laughs> <laughs> Leave us a comment below. We love to read them. And otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on one of our homesteads. See ya. Bye. All right, I'll squat down to your level. Okay. Hey, everybody. Sam here. Oh, and sorry. That's when you say, and Elijah. Beefing. <laughs> okay, you can turn it off. <laughs> 2010 Toyota Sienna minivan. Now, right up hand, right off first bat. Man, English is not good with me. In addition to the hitch, we purchased a vehicle specific wiring kit. Thank you. Miniature Vanna White. And that is going to be great. <laughs> the sun is bright. <laughs> That's all right. It's just right. <laughs> All right. There, I'll get down low for you. Ready? Mm -hmm. So, the... Wait, can I think first? Yeah. So I'll say, um, the van hitch bolts up right here, because that's where there's holes. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide, Toyota Multiplex Network device. <laughs> oh, Sam's losing it. Sam's losing it. Yep, because Sam's walking away from the van, and he's not even done yet. Back to work. There's that low-angle sun again. Always oh, after us. Oh, he's trying to ruin our movie mojo.